There are two alarm levels. Level one is set off by the guards seeing a dead body or by them spotting you. Mm Mm-hmm, okay. Level two is set off by the guards spotting you when level one is already active. Level two is dangerous because guards will continue to arrive. You can avoid being spotted by staying hidden. To hide, simply move behind various bits of cover. All right. Hello reformers and welcome back to the last days and our elf playthrough. We are here with Lady Galadriel. We're going to be speaking to her and telling her that we did wonderful things for for her and we have now been promoted to a close friend of Lothlorien. So that might give me something, but first let's uh, bring the message. We've been promoted to friend of Imladris. Very nice indeed. We're getting all these ranks with all the various elf factions because, of course, we're basically only going to be using elven units. I don't think I'm going to be using anyone else's units. Bjornings, for example, I don't think I'll use them. Dwarves, obviously not going to be using them. Maybe Dale, maybe I'll use a couple of their units. And uh, I think, well, in general, what I am going to do is I'm going to level up the ranks with every single good faction with the exception of Gondor perhaps because I don't know whether I'll get down there in a decent amount of time but well we'll see anyway let's have a look here a raiding party is on its way to a village ah okay so we have to defend it all right I guess we'll try and do that but otherwise I want to request a special item oh yes what's this elven amulet let's get it let's get the athelus plant as well And we will also get Lembus. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so that is good. That is our companion that we will hopefully be able to get at some point. But first, let us go into... Ah, apparently we've leveled up. Okay, so it's been a while since I've actually done this. So let's do Charisma. We are going to do that. I think we probably want to go for Prisoner Management. But I am thinking that it might make more sense for us to go for something like riding or mounted archery. Because in general we are going to do that. Maybe some weapon master. I guess I'll just go for weapon master for the moment. Because I do obviously want to level up my archery even so. And I do still have a whole bunch of different quests to hand in as well. Like for example Lord Howard. He gave me something. I need to rescue some additional prisoners for Muriel. And this is obviously bugged. So we're not going to do that. King Brand has asked us to defeat rune war parties. We'll probably finish that up in this episode. And King Thranduil has asked us to bring him five enemy prisoners. Now we have four. So I think that's going to be pretty easy. There's a village over here. Let's have a look and see if I can go and defend it. Most of our people are pretty good in terms of HP, so we should be okay. I did recruit a couple of Lothalorians, and I have also recruited a couple of people from Rivendell. Hopefully that's going to help us out in defending this village. Now bear in mind that these guys are all very, very low level, so it's not really going to work out too well. I'm going to tell everyone. There's actually someone in the comments that gave me a pretty decent way of defending this particular... Uh, village basically and uh, that is to put all of your archers around here put all the farmers on the bridge and just see what you can do actually you know what I think it probably is a better idea if I place my archers over there but oh well never mind I I guess maybe we're just gonna have to deal with it really I mean there's a bottleneck and uh, I, I think my archers are in a pretty decent location right now so I don't think we have to worry too much but The farmers are eventually, yeah, look at that. They're breaking through pretty easily, these large orcs already. But you can see that our archers will hopefully be shooting. Are they shooting? Yeah, they are shooting, but it is taking them a little bit of time to do anything. Uh, Yeah, it seems like when we're done, the entirety of this village is literally going to have no one in it, which is not very good. Yes, now they are starting to come towards us. Well, not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, nice headshot over his shield. That was awesome. That was really nice. Okay, yeah, there we go. Shoot that guy again. And that one. And maybe we can shoot that one. There we go. Yes, they're all dying. Very nice. Okay, come on. Come on, guys. We can do this. We're full HP. These guys have been shot to smithereens, basically. Yes. There we go. Let's continue shooting them. Shoot that guy. Wow, nice nice close-range combat we've got going on here. We're, we're like Legolas. We're like Legolas technically, kind of, where he goes very close range and shoots people in the face. I mean, well, not trying to be that, but 
it's actually working pretty well so far. I was uh, kind of surprised, to be honest. Anyway, there you go. Did we lose anyone? I actually think we didn't lose anyone. No, we only had two wounded. That is pretty amazing. There we go. We defended that, and we can now go back to Galadriel almost immediately. Maybe get another task from her as well. Oh, look at that. It seems like Rune is attempting to besiege Woodsman Village. That might make sense for us to go and assist, because obviously we do have the Rune War Party. Maybe he's brought along a couple of war parties. Who knows? Or maybe there's just some in the area. Might make sense. There you go. There's another 40 rank points. Very nice indeed. And... Uh, oh, this is, there is an important service you can deliver to our people. My power to defend and preserve Lothlorien has been diminished by the devices of the enemy. A master sorcerer of Dol Gadur is invoking powerful charms that inhibit our defenses. Though he is immortal, he has become one of the enemy's greatest pupils in the use of arcane rituals, and he represents a great threat to our people. You must hunt him down and destroy him. Where can I find the sorcerer? Search for him in Mirkwood Forest, not far from Dol Gadur itself. He is both a well-guarded and a cautious foe, so you'll need to use stealth to prevent the alarm from being raised. If he escapes, he will relocate to other dark places that we know not of and continue his wickedness unchallenged. There will be only one opportunity to defeat him. Much depends on your success. Go with our blessings. Right, I will try... To do this, I have no idea about this task. I have never done anything like it. So this is going to be very interesting indeed. All right, so uh, I assume he's probably going to be in Mirkwood Forest, right? Which is basically this entire thing. I I have no idea where he's going to be. This is ah, uh, this is this is a little bit uh, a little bit dicey, I guess. Oh, and apparently that has been besieged now. Oh dear. Okay, so this has been besieged over here. Maybe we want to participate in that because that is probably going to award us a great deal of whatever, maybe rank points or something like that. Let's have a look at the duration. Only 10 days to finish this task. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to participate in that siege then. And we'll, we'll have to go and try and find ancient ruins. I don't think I've seen the ancient ruins ever before. Maybe that's where I need to go. That's actually... I don't think I've seen this before. Have I? Ah, uh, I'm going to go in there. Ah, there we go. Oh, okay, okay. So we can pick companions for the mission. We're going to be doing that. We're going to pick Thranduil's Royal Marksman. Yes, please. Please join me, Thranduil's Royal Marksman. You're most likely going to be amazing for us. Let's take... Uh, I guess we'll just take everyone. We'll just take everyone that we can. Wait a minute. You can take up to 10 troops. Ah, oh, okay. Well, well, I guess we'll just take all of those. There you go. End selecting companions and proceed. Sneak into the sorcerer's lair under the knight's cover. All right, let's try it. Ah, uh, yeah, you you should, you probably... You, oh, okay. You're quickly discovered by the enemy. Eliminate them before the alarm spreads. Okay, so I can assume this was probably not the best idea. Yes. Okay, well, let's just try our best to eliminate whoever that is. Uh, Black Numenorians, okay. Whoa, there's actually quite a few of them, and they're kind of scary in the dark. They got red eyes and everything. Okay, there's an awkward Mordor. Uh, hello, what? Are you, where, 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 where is the guy? Oh, there he is. You could, you could barely see him because it's so dark. Okay, uh, I think we're okay. We, we are eliminating them, pretty reasonably, I guess. I mean, we have some good units right here, so I don't think we need to worry too much. I should be very cautious, though. I'd like to eliminate this guy if at all possible. It seems like our units are taking way too long to eliminate it. Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay. I'm very worried about this, actually, because if the sorcerer escapes, we're going to have a huge problem. Galadriel is not going to be pleased. Let's see if I'm able to do something here. I, I assume that the sorcerer is around here, isn't he? Or has he literally just escaped? Oh, continue onward. There's literally a continue onward button. Stealth minigame tutorial. Okay, I have not done this ever before, so this is going to be fun. All right. Uh, there are two alarm levels. Level one is set off by the guards seeing a dead body or by them spotting you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Level two is set off by the guards spotting you when level one is already active. Level two is dangerous because guards will continue to arrive. You can avoid being spotted by staying hidden. 
to hide, simply move behind various bits of cover. All right. I don't have anyone with me. And it's nighttime. Why did I do this at nighttime? I have no idea. But uh, can I move bodies? I don't think I can actually... I doubt I can move bodies. So I need to be even more cautious because... Me killing something is going to be a pretty awful thing. I'm by myself? This is this is bad. This is very bad indeed. Alright, so I guess I, I can just try to move down here very, very slowly. There's a whole bunch of guards. I kind of wish I had a better weapon now, actually. Okay. I don't know how good their vision actually is. In the night time, I mean, obviously we know that orcs and, and so on can see pretty easily at night. And I don't know where the sorcerer actually is. The guards have spotted you. Oh, great. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, the guards have spotted me again. Okay, great. Well, there you go. I guess I'm just going to have to murder them as best I can. And our guards are going to continue to come. I have no idea how to do this mission. That is a very, very harsh difficulty level for... For, for stealth, uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how that's supposed to work, but there you go, there's a kill. Uh, I'm actually just going to rush, I guess. Just going to rush ahead. Oh, you cannot leave until the guards lose you. Oh, the alarm level is now level 1. Oh, okay. I don't know how long it's going to take for the alarm level to cease, but I am right next to the zone, so I should be okay, you know, maybe. Uh, not yet. Okay, I'm, I'm going to crouch down. I'm crouching down right now. Hopefully no one can see me. Yes. Oh no, they spotted a dead body right when I was able to go. Okay, that is not good. Maybe I should hide up here. Let's hide up here a little bit. Yeah, by the way, I bought a helm. Yes, I bought a helm at Lothlorien. And uh, it cost me a lot. It was about 2,600. I don't have that much money with Lothlorien, so I did have to sell quite a few metal scraps for that. But I think it was kind of worth it. Alright, so I'm just going to wait here, I guess. And eventually, the alarm is going to... Yeah, there we go. Oh, they spotted a dead body again? Oh, okay, okay. So I think what I'm going to need to do is I will literally just need to stand here and be ready for when it returns to zero, the alarm level, and then just, you know, try to exit as fast as possible. All right, so I was able to exit very, very quickly. As you can see right there, you cannot leave until the guards lose you. And now we have to kill the remaining units. As you can see, they're actually attacking us almost immediately right here, which is fine because I'm happy to have our companions assisting us once again. That stealth mission was very, very tricky. Ah, the sorcerer is fleeing. Ah, kill him. I, I don't know where he is, but uh, I guess we'll try our, our best to find where he is. Where is he? Uh, is he actually running? Oh, there there he is. That's him. That's him right there. Get him. Get him. Arrows. Uh, arrows. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Oh, I did so much damage to him, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. He might escape now. He might actually escape. That's not going to be very good. Galadriel's not going to be pleased. Okay, come on, guys. Let's do this. Charge. Just go straight up there. Oh, no. There are so many guards. Okay. Uh, maybe I can just... Can I get round? Can I get... Oh no, retreat. I don't want to retreat. That's not what I want to do. Maybe I don't need to rush so much. I don't know about it, really. Oh, there we go. I'm getting shot. That's fantastic. Okay, hit that guy. Okay, my guys are doing pretty good, actually. Uh, okay, we got some Black Normanorians to deal with here. Nice headshot. And not going to be enough. Alright, well... I'm dead. I'm dead. I, I couldn't really do much more apart from that. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we actually did fail. The sorcerer has fled. Wow. Okay, that's a, that's a very, very hard mission in my opinion. But obviously, maybe I didn't really have a time limit, so to speak. And maybe I could have just relaxed a little bit more about it. But anyway, as you can see, the sorcerer slips from our grasp and slithers into the darkness. Oh well, at least we'll be ready for that later down the line. I don't really mind too much about failure at this point. At this point in the game, it's not really going to affect us too much. And uh, we wouldn't be very, very strong in our resolve if it would allow, you know, if we would be disappointed by that. Even though it is 
obviously a little bit disappointing because I would have liked to have killed him. And I think I did see him. I think I did shoot at him a little bit, but he had a lot of HP and it was actually... I think we were, I think we were kind of close to eliminating him, but I think I don't have the greatest bow at the moment, and the bow is really letting us down a little bit. Anyway, that is it. I guess that uh, that did fail. The quest has failed. Yeah, I actually wondered whether I'd be able to do it again, but it seems like that's not the case. So that is that is really harsh, actually, because having a, I think multi-stage, a multi-stage mission, that's really cool. Don't get me wrong, I think that's really awesome, but. Then having a, uh, I, I don't know whether it is actually a time limit. It's probably not a time limit, to be honest. I probably would have been able to just take my time, eliminate the units along the way, and eventually catch up to the sorcerer. But it seemed like he was running away, and uh, I don't think we were going to be fast enough to be able to do that. So I'm going to say, the sorcerer of Mirkwood still lives. We interrupted his rituals, but he has fled. Okay, so we did gain some rank points still. So that is good, but... It just kind of shows that the mod is really, really well developed because in other mods you get a quest and you fail it and then they're going to be like, oh, okay, so you failed, you don't get anything. But in this, they still give you a little bit just for your efforts. I think that's really good. Anyway, she senses that the dark arts of the enemy are still pressing upon us. His efforts seem greater now. It is unfortunate that you could not stop him. Yes, well, I am going to try uh, personally defeat great... Warg Riders of Udun. I don't know where they are from, but I guess we'll find out. Can, can I request something? Yeah, there we go. We're actually getting a bow. That is fantastic. Okay, so that is really, really good. Can I... Uh, maybe we can do that? Yes. Can you heal our wounds? A thousand resources. No, okay. <laughs> We're probably not going to do that then. Will you train some troops for me? Yes, I would be happy to do that, but I'll teach them in the arena if that's at all possible. I think that's much better for me, even though I am a little bit injured. So it's going to be kind of harsh. But we'll try our best. I'm not very good in with Power Strike. That's the main problem right now. Power Strike is giving me no, no benefits whatsoever. I think I have like two or something. So I, I, I can afford to take a little bit of damage here, because obviously I do have quite a lot of iron flesh, so that's good. And we have completed that, so that's nice. Okay, so I'm really interested to see what stats that bow has, and I'm sure you are as well. So we're going to go into our inventory after this and take a quick look at it and see what's going on. Okay, so let's have a look. There we go. Train that. 192 rank points. What? That is such a crazy good task. I, I'd like to have that task again, please. <laughs> He's not going to give it to me again, no. No, not at all. All right, so, yeah, that's absolutely fine, then. That is absolutely fine. Thank you very much for that. All right, so, let's have a look. 24 piercing damage, 90 accuracy, 99 speed rating. Power draw of 5. That is so much better than what we're currently using. It really is. We lose a little bit of accuracy, but I think that's absolutely fine. And we do have an amulet here as well. Where do I put the amulet? Oh, no, I actually don't put it anywhere. Yes. I am I am just just that bad. Okay, so there you go. That's pretty awesome. That is really nice, actually. And uh, we also have the Athelus plant, which gives us plus one to first aid. So we have plus one to power draw. So that means we have 11 power draw, I think, which is kind of amazing. All right, so we are also probably going to need to go and speak to Galadriel again, because I think I only checked for the rank 5 rewards, and I didn't check for the rank 6 or rank 7, because we actually just got rank 7 from that task. So let's have a look. Okay, so what do we have? Okay, one of these, and oh, a Galadrim sword. Okay, I actually don't know what that's all about, but I'm going to try and get a couple of Lembus, I guess. Lembus is actually a really, really cool food, in my opinion. It actually has a hundred stacks as you can see right there it's pretty crazy it gives you a huge amount of party morale as well and we have now plus one to leadership thanks to this item and we also have a masterwork galadrium sword that is pretty amazing that's exactly the kind of sword i could have used in that sorcerer quest well at least we are now a high enough rank to be able to get it and i suppose what we can do now is where are the great warg riders of Udun? I assume they are probably a Dol Gadur unit or something like that. I guess I'm going to actually check that out real quick. Dol Gadur, where is that? There it is. Okay, so yeah, they are the great warg riders of Udun and they are the highest ranking cavalry that they have available. That's going to be kind of harsh, I think. 
Okay, so 82 days to bring him prisoners, that's fine. 23 days, yeah, that's okay. 42, that's okay. Okay, so this is only 20 days. So I should probably focus on attempting to eliminate a couple of Dolgadur uh, parties of some kind. So I think we're probably going to try and do that. Going to level up a couple of people here as well. And it seems like everyone leveled up. That's pretty good. Okay, well, we're going to continue to get charisma. And I suppose what we will do is... Maybe we want to get a little bit more in writing skill. Mm, a little bit more in writing skill or a little bit more in weapon master. I, I suppose we'll just get one more in weapon master because I'm not going to level agility anymore, at least for quite a while. And it might make sense for us to do that instead. So, yes. Anyway, let's go into Dolgador territory and we'll see if we can find some war parties. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll even find some rune war parties. That would, that would actually be pretty good. You know, kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. And uh, we'll see if that is even possible. Alright, so we have actually come across a battle between a rune war party and uh, Baron Elm's host. Now, I know what you're thinking. Does the war party only have 40 units? No, they don't. They have this many. 466. And we have 228. So I'm actually assisting at a pretty critical time here. The battle is taking place in South Mirkwood, and I think we will have a pretty decent shot at this. Bear in mind that I don't exactly know who the enemies are, to be honest, so uh, this is going to be kind of interesting. I don't really want my units to get killed, so I... Oh, it seems like Rune? It seems like it's Rune, mostly. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty awesome way to get some kills, hopefully. And wow, there's a huge amount of noble cavalry over there. Look at look at these guys. Wow, that that is pretty crazy. I'd like to actually level up from this if at all possible. So maybe I can have that happen. I think so. I'm dealing some pretty nice damage to them. Uh, we just need to kill these cavalry, really, if at all possible. Yep, there we go. Nope. Yeah, ah, okay, I hit him. I hit him. That that interrupted him enough to get his death. So that's pretty nice. Otherwise, uh, there's King Brand. King Brand is actually in here. That's that's kind of cool. Uh, oh, there's Master Fuenor. <laughs> ah, we actually did eliminate Master Fuenor this time around instead of helping him. Because in the Uruk series, if you've seen that, Master Fuenor is actually uh, someone we helped out quite a bit. But uh, yeah, seems like we're killing him here. There's another one dead. Okay, we're doing so so well so far. I mean, we, we have only 40 arrows remaining, which is actually kind of sad, but uh, maybe I'll have to, uh, you know, have a chance to use my awesome new two-handed weapon, so that would be kind of nice. Wow, there's actually a lot of archers over there. I guess we'll do some damage to them. If I can. Let's hide behind the, the tree a little bit here. That might make sense. Pick up those wood elf arrows while I'm at it. Oh, no, there's someone close by. Who is it? Ah, it was just a cavalry. Oh, okay. I am being shot. Probably going to get killed now, aren't I? That's probably going to happen. Hello. Ah, uh, I would have liked to have killed you with my sword, but uh, I do bear in mind I only have 27 in two-handed weapon proficiency. So I am using it two-handed. As a result, it's going to be kind of bad. So it's going to be interesting to find out what happens with it, but uh, we'll see. I have 31 arrows still. I'd like to expend all of my arrows if at all possible. I really don't want to die before all of my arrows have been used. So I guess I'm just going to try and fire off a couple of quick fire barrages here and see if I can maybe pick off a couple of enemy units. I don't know whether it's going to be possible. Baron Elm is still alive. He's doing very well. Mm, there's one. There's another one. Uh, I'm actually kind of uh, not really knowing who's who here most of the time because Rune and Bjornings kind of look a little bit similar and uh, I haven't really played with them too much. So we're going to obviously find out what their units look like a little bit better as time goes on. Please don't kill me. Not yet, please. Not, not yet. Ah, there we go. I did actually slash at someone, so that's kind of nice. Did a little bit of damage. Oh, nice. Look at that. Good job, Bertildian. Yes, very nice. That was very good. Okay, so, uh, these, these enemies? No. That, that's an enemy, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, it seems like, uh, yes, it seems like most of our cavalry and infantry have been eliminated, so now we're having to deal with the swarms of orcs coming in here. 
which is okay. I actually don't expect to win this battle. That's the thing. I'm not actually expecting to win this at all because the enemies vastly outnumber us, but obviously that does happen. That is, in general, the whole whole deal here, you know. The forces of evil generally will outnumber the forces of good, so that's just how it is. But uh, I was hoping that maybe I could get some much-needed experience, level up my proficiencies a little bit, try out the new bow, of course, and help out in the meantime, because uh, that was level 21. It took me a long time to get to level 21, didn't it? Wow, that was, that was pretty crazy. Alright, so we are now, I think, hopefully in a pretty, pretty good place. If I can maybe do a little bit of extra damage. Yeah, maybe. Uh, might need some more power strike, actually. I don't know. Maybe we want some more power strike. Yeah, usually we're not going to use all of our arrows. There we go. Finally killed. But uh, how many units do they have? And how many did we eliminate? Wow, we actually eliminated a pretty decent amount. Look at that. 186 eliminated. And we have lost 87. Well, not we specifically, but allies have lost 87. And we have lost about 9, which is actually pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good. And that's actually going to result in... I think a retreat from me. I think I'm going to retreat here. Even though we probably could continue to fight them. I don't know whether... Look at this. 119 versus 278. I don't know whether that's really going to work. Is it? Mm, it's, it's not looking good, I gotta say. It is not looking good. And I don't really want to be caught in a defeat here. Uh, this is this is kind of bad. Maybe I can pick off one of the vassals that comes out of the battle at the end. Oh, look at that. Rune is reinforcing their side here, which is kind of amazing. Oh, there's huge amounts of war party. Why are they so fast? I have no idea why they're so fast. There's a lot of them. There's actually a huge... Wait a minute. These are all rune scouts and war parties and so on? Uh, there's only actually only one war party. There's actually two war parties that are looking extremely weak, though. Uh, maybe I can get this one? You're running away from me now. Why are you running away? Come on. Uh, okay, well, I got the war party and I got a couple of raiders. 67 of them. And we are fighting in South Mirkwood. This is... Not the best but I guess we can just try our hardest to win I don't I don't know whether that's gonna happen really but as long as our forces continue firing away I think we might have a good shot at it good shot yes shoot your bows everyone very good okay come on now yeah mm, yeah it's actually not even looking that bad I'm actually killing quite a few as well which is good that eliminates people very, very fast, considering our new bow is so damaging. And, uh, oh, wow, oh, oh, seems like we'll have to get into, uh, oh, okay. I was thinking to myself, yes, we'll have to get into the thick of things with our wonderful two-handed sword, but, uh, apparently not. Apparently, uh, they, uh, <laughs> they had different plans for us, and, uh, I just ran into a huge blade that basically sliced me up. So that was great. Anyway, it seems like that is indeed a victory. I think that was a pretty easy easy win. And uh, I'm going to try and track down that other war party that was seen moving over to the northwest. Because if I can catch up to that war party, I'll be able to finish that task. And that will hopefully give a little bit of faction strength back to... Uh, I think it was King Brand that gave me that particular task. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. A huge amount of rescued prisoners, by the way, so I'm probably going to be taking a whole bunch of Dale here as well. And, uh, well, that is, that is pretty cool. And uh, I will see you next time.